Despite our enormous historical data and experiences, we have yet to fully learn how to control such a complex physical and chemical process as a burning fire. Hi there, and today we will tell you about the elimination of one of the most complicated fires in the oil and gas industry, which only a nuclear explosion could stop. It all started on December 1, 1963 on the territory of present-day Uzbekistan. A gas well was drilled in the Yurta Bulak gas field. The drill hit the reservoir with abnormally high reservoir pressure and high content of hydrogen sulfide. Due to further errors during the drilling, which consisted of the use of improper equipment, the drill string was squeezed out of the well and a powerful gas fountain broke out. According to some data, it independently ignited. According to others, it was set on fire. Experts were then sure that the fire would help neutralize harmful substances and they would be able to quickly extinguish the flame. But it turned out quite differently. Within a short time, the protective armature at the wellhead collapsed and the flames increased. Its height reached 400 feet. That is almost a 40-story building. Up to 12 million cubic meters of gas burned per day. Due to the very high temperature, it was impossible to get closer than 800 feet to the burning torch. First of all, the firefighters tried to cool the wellhead area and flooded it with water from fire carriages, but they only managed to raise the flame above the well. Also, blowout preventers were clogged, the task of which was to seal the gas well, but lateral flames escaped from them. It was decided to connect the artillery and bring down the blowout preventers direct fire. Then they managed to install equipment that diverted some gas from the wellhead. It was seeming that something was beginning to happen, but not everything was good. The pressure of the gas escaping from the bowels of the earth increased, and griffins began to form, sudden breakthroughs to the surface with hydrogen sulfide. The situation was getting out of control. The area was covered with soot, and in the vicinity of the well, even the behavior of animals changed. All that could be burned up has long been burned. Now it was really a dead red hot earth. There is no place left for the living here. Over the next three years, various methods of extinguishing gas fountains known at the time were used. It was necessary to do something, but no one knew what to do exactly. It was then that the last possible option was proposed an underground explosion of a thermonuclear charge. Since the government did not have much choice, the idea was approved. Since the explosion was needed to get out of the emergency, the work was carried out as fast as possible. Despite this, thorough geological preparation was carried out, which took place in extreme conditions. To lay the charge, an inclined shaft was drilled, in which the charge was placed 5,000 feet below the surface of the Earth. On September 30th, 1966, a 30 kiloton nuclear charge was exploded. For comparison, the nuclear bomb in Nagasaki was 21 kilotons. As it turned out, the calculation was justified and the flaming gas fountain went out after 22 seconds. The well was pinched by layers of earth. Such a solution was considered successful and nuclear chargers were used to eliminate such fires three more times. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more.